we are back. We're back. <laughs> To that same old place. There you go. Welcome back. Okay, ready? You done? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm done. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Um, a lot has happened since you've seen us last. Like that. That's done. Cabin Castle was finished and COVID messed everything up so we weren't able to produce as many episodes showing the process, but today we're gonna catch all up on what you missed and give you the tour. In the last episode, we had some stuff done. We had the bones of the house, we had the roof uh, framed, and we had the sheathing up, but there has been a lot since then. Since then, we hunted for shingles that we salvaged from a burned down cedar shingle factory. Shingled the whole thing. We put the roof sheathing, the metal roof. We put moss up. First piece. We grew all the grass. We did maple floors on the inside, cedar on the walls and the ceiling mm -hmm. inside. It took a lot to get us here. There were some hard times building this place. Yeah, keeping the wood dry, that was hard. And making sure that it was not going to change, that it was a stable moisture level inside. Where we live is gorgeous. It's green and it's lush, and that's like why we picked this property and why we wanted to build cabin land here. But the reality is, building in that is very, very tough. It was wet and the rain was relentless, incessant. And it's what makes this place so beautiful, but it is also poses a lot of challenges for building. Oh man, oh, that's good. But that being said, once we got the roof on, got it all dried in, as they say, then the glory work came in. But the glory work was also challenging. Yeah. My knees are killing me. Our living roof looks just like amazing now. Check it out. That is because Jacob has been a little obsessive over it. To get the grass to actually grow, like Sarah was saying, was actually really challenging. We started by doing just the typical chicken wire and moss that I like to do. We did most of this roof, but not this section. First of all, let's just take a minute to look at that beautiful blanket. To get the grass to grow on the roof, even though there was a lot of direct sunlight in the summer months when there was no rain coming down, that was a challenge. Okay, but enough talking about it. Let's take you inside so you can see it for yourself. Hello, come on in. Welcome to the castle cap. And this is our living room. This is what you first enter when you walk into the castle cabin. Yes, the idea is that when you come in, your eyes are drawn down these two hallways right here. And to do that, we kind of had to lay the flooring down in a particular way where it splits and your line of sight kind of goes down both hallways and then comes up and is drawn up into this cathedral-like ceiling. When you walk in, you look down the hallways, you look up, and then you start to notice like my new obsession with plants. So they're everywhere. They're growing up the walls. This one right here, one of our absolute favorites. I can't wait till this one like reaches all the way up to the window and starts climbing across the rafters and to other windows. And I just want right. this to be just like a crazy looking jungle in here one day. And then this is the beginning of the custom made furniture throughout the house, which is our little entertainment center. So you start seeing this pattern at the front door and then it continues here and starts going all throughout the house to see if we can find all the places. That <laughs> it's like a where's <laughs> Shut up. And of course, 
more and more plants. This beauty is one of my favorites, this big old aloe plant. I love it, but I stab myself in this rhinoceros <laughs> of a horn or Beauty's whatever you call them. Pain. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard? I have heard. I watch a lot of America's Next Top Model. And then this is another salvage door we got. It's an, actually an old schoolhouse door. That's the pattern. <laughs> the pattern. Here's <laughs> another place where we find the pattern. Homer, so get that's... your head out of the way. We're trying to show off the pattern. <laughs> Homie. We got two dogs in a matter less than a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was a weird idea to get two dogs when we still didn't even officially have a house yet to live in, but we That's did it. That's true. Oh God. Babe. First we got Homer. He is our firstborn. We got him from a rescue from California and he is like the sweetest thing. He makes our hearts melt. And Peter. He's our lucky dog. We got him second and yeah, he came from Taiwan and we got him from an adoption agency that works with dogs that are uh, kind of feral dogs out there. And we kind of got Peter for Homer. And Homer and him played so well together. We're like best friends and it was amazing. People always ask us when we're gonna have kids and the answer is we already have kids. These are our babies. Yes. So when you when you're in the living room, you can either go down hallway number one, which leads to the kitchen and bedroom, which is the tallest, biggest cabin, or you can go down hallway number two, which leads to the medium-sized cabin. We are now entering the hallway that leads to the loft cabin. We got a little bit of art here, like this was a photograph the producer um, behind the camera right now he shot last time he was here. It really kind of feels like you can like step into the rainforest, which I guess that's what happens when you just walk out the front door. And this is my favorite part of walking through the house. Get through the hallway, opens up to the tallest ceiling. We'll take you up into the loft in a second, but I want to show you into the into the bathroom real quick. We did all the tile work and the sheet rocking and all that ourselves. Custom made little vanity by Jacob. <laughs> Sorry, I got stuck out there with the dogs. How many times have we seen this pattern? This is the third time. We keep counting. This is the third time and we just love this pattern. This may be weird to most people because like, maybe you live in the city and you want privacy when you go to the bathroom, but we live in the middle of nowhere, no one can see us. But I specifically got like a door with a big old window so I can sit here take a pee or whatever, and look out on our front whatever. deck. <laughs> whatever else you do when you're sitting on the toilet. So this is a really nice spot. And I got this, we made this so I could sit next to her while she's doing it. <laughs> That's the bathroom downstairs. And then out back into the medium sized cabin. I can't wait to take you upstairs into the loft, but first just a little quick detour um, again. Handmade door by Jacob. The fourth time <laughs> with the pattern. The fourth time with the pattern. <laughs> Tell him your favorite part about this This is my door. favorite part is the kitty door down here for Dexter and- I think he's probably laying on a chair in the kitchen, so I'm sure you'll see him in there. Yeah, he owns the furniture, basically. <laughs> Behind this is our laundry room. Check out the action on that door. Slide That's action. so nice and smooth, but anyway. <laughs> Laundry room, you know, just a laundry room. So up the ladder into the loft. So here we are up in the loft and as you're climbing the ladder up, one of the first things you're gonna notice is this gorgeous railing that Jacob made. Thank you so much. And these saplings that we use down here for the balusters, we left the moss on and actually we learned from the first railing that we did in the kitchen that if you leave this moss on, it actually holds on to the color. Another really cool thing about these balusters right here, 
are these smaller branches that we have kind of wrapped and twisted around the railing. And the key to doing that is to use the wood while it's still green, because you can kind of bend and twist them, they're malleable. That's like my favorite thing about it, I think. And also this really cool couch. You might also notice upstairs the fat cat. Yeah. Dexter. He likes to climb the ladder so he can get away from the dogs. I love the spot, like we're just nice and nestled up in the ceiling and you can see the top of the living room cabin. This is actually one of my very favorite things about this space is that you're inside the ceiling. It's the closest that mm -hmm. you get to the ceiling. And so you're right, walking right amongst these collar ties. And this is a collar tie system that my dad designed when we took him our idea for the cabins that were shaped this way. Doing these ceilings was a lot of work. Yeah, Ethan and I worked all through the summer hanging all the wall material, all the ceiling material. And we haven't even mentioned the fact that all the wall material and the ceiling material and all the trim are the seconds from this cedar sawmill. They're like the castaways, the pieces that most people don't want because they have no. knots that are too big or imperfections. All right, so this is the loft. Now we're gonna head back downstairs through the hallways, through the living room and into the kitchen. Now we're walking back through the living room into the kitchen, but first let's stop in the hallway, admire this beautiful bookshelf. Bye. Yes. Mr. Witzling here. Thank you. And there it is again. We've lost count with how many times this, this pattern, pattern has showed up. Yes. So write in with the count. Let us know. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we have all these bases were made by Jacob's brother. He's like a really good artist. These are all the books that we display, like trophies that we pretend we've read, or <laughs> anything like that. I listen to books, okay? I love <laughs> listening to books, but... So let's go on into the kitchen. So here we are. Yep. In the kitchen. This is where all the action happens. <laughs> The kitchen is probably where we spend the most time. It's where we play board games, it's where we do our Yahtzee. It's where we cook our meals. That center island, that's what has become our dining room area. So this is where we spend a lot of our time at the island here yeah. on uh, this beautiful old bowling alley that we found. Yeah, we got all our countertops are bowling alleys and you can see this is like the middle lane lines and over here we have the starting lines and this was all really difficult to work but so worth it. And then it sits on top of these stainless steel cabinets that this was all Sarah, this yeah, idea. Yeah, I thought it might be nice to break up the wood just a mm -hmm. little bit and, and bring in some, some other material. So we went with stainless steel cabinets, which I love. This is my favorite window of the whole house. It's got the most plants in it. I love sitting in the kitchen and having dinner because we got a big window to look out on our beautiful back deck with all the plants and the lights. And it's like such a mood. So that's pretty much it for in here, but wait till you see what's behind you and above you. And now we're on the other side of the room and we're looking at our stair railing going up into the bedroom. This was Jacob's first experimentation with using the saplings for the balusters. And it leads to one of the coolest, most happening places in the whole house, <laughs> the bedroom. So when you go upstairs, you reach the bedroom and our second bathroom. This is the tallest building of all three of them. So now we are in the bedroom. Yes. My favorite place. Yeah. Because I get to sleep. I get yeah. my 10 hours of sleep a night here. Yeah. But you get to lay in bed here and look up to the ceiling and the big triangular windows, look out at the big trees and the headboard. Oh yeah. I, 
I was gonna buy a headboard to try and, you know, Save make Jacob relax a <laughs> little bit, but he insisted on building one, which I'm actually really glad he did because it turned out gorgeous. And it's a nod to our diamond cabin. We'd been living in here for a little while and I was missing the diamond cabin and I thought that this would be kind of cute yeah. to do. Got the pattern Got once pattern. again, count it. And uh, yeah, we thought we would have space to build like a little closet, a custom closet in mm. here, but turns out not. Yes, that's and true. <laughs> that's okay. Just got like a couple of tall dressers to put like the necessities, like underwear, socks, and pajamas. Originally, I was hoping to be able to take our clothes out of what was called the wardrobe cabin, but it's still just the wardrobe cabin. We keep all of our clothes out in the wardrobe cabin and we have a, just a couple small dressers in there for like our undies and socks and pajamas. And then when we want to put the real clothes on, we walk outside and walk down the boardwalk that leads us to the wardrobe cabin and we get dressed in there and that's fine. It's more space anyway, so. I can pretty much keep all my clothes in the house. That's true. Oh, we have a junk, a, a, what is it? A junk drawer in the kitchen. I don't have out. anything in that drawer. <laughs> I have nothing. We got all sorts of things. We got glass pipes, we got incense, we got a petty egg, yeah. Every because single thing is, this pet, oops, sorry. This petty egg is his. Incense are actually This glove, this glove is okay, mine. Okay, those gloves are mine, actually. I don't think so, okay? Those but yeah, the petty mine. egg is That's the mine. only thing in here that's mine, though. But that's okay, I have a whole wardrobe cabin that's a mess, so fine, you can have a drawer. Yeah, she has a junk cabin. <laughs> <laughs> I get a junk drawer, Sarah gets a junk cabin. Into the upstairs bathroom, come, come. Mm -hmm. Come on. This is the same Douglas fir slab uh, with the live edge we got from the local sawmill. And this is, I think, the, my favorite tile work in the whole house. One of my favorite parts about doing this house was all of the tile work. That was really where Sarah and I like worked the closest together. It's a small bathroom, but you know what? This is still actually a really small house. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a tiny house, but overall, it's a 960 square foot house. Square footage wise, it's a pretty small house. Yes. Height wise? Yeah. It's cubic massive. footage. <laughs> cubic footage wise, I think it's like 3,000 cubic feet. So yeah. there's a lot of space, but not a lot of footprint. Three times as tall as it is. Yeah. Wide. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is, actually. Oh my gosh, that is it. Uh. <laughs> that is not positive energy, dude. It was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. We built a whole freaking house. I can't believe it. It's been almost two whole years. Actually, I think it's been two years since we started building it and COVID messed everything up with the production, but this was the biggest thing that we've ever undertaken. <laughs> time to what what are we gonna do next oh my god you want to chill I don't you a minute. right she wants to chill a for a little minute. bit don't get me wrong it was really special spending time together building the house and the cabins and the other structures it was a bonding experience yes but it's been so nice having this house finally done because i have needed some downtime to stop working and just kind of be able to reconnect i think i've i've realized that we've missed we've we've lacked the like the more intimateness of connection we're always kind of like working and it's sweet but you know slowing down sitting across from each other having coffee it's been nice to go to the beach play with the pups and it's been nice to be able to just play games that's why we needed this house, so we could just relax for a little bit. I'm excited to get back to work, don't get me wrong, but I need some downtime. Yeah, three days from now, she's gonna be like, let's go. Maybe. I guarantee it. <laughs>
All right, that's it. That's the end of season two about the Castle Cabin. Thank you so much to everyone who helped us and supported us along the way. Us. We hope you come back for season three. We have so many projects and so many things on the horizon. Yeah, it's gonna be bigger and better, baby. Come on, this is the elevator. Oh, okay. Ready? Yeah. You gotta come down with I me. I am, okay, <laughs> go. Push the button. <laughs> so oh, okay, that's it. We got five minutes.